Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to a new episode of Music with Nick. Super interesting today, we got a marathon by JK. This is more on the, I think, uh, blues and jazzy side, but it could also be more on the funk side. So um, let's see here. I do have a email um, by JK. Um, oh no, it's not an email. It's just here in the, where he claimed his marathon instrumental soul. So more on the soul side, um, super excited to do this. Um, it even has the shaft, uh, theme. Um, I have seen just one movie a long time ago. I think it was 10 years ago with, uh, Samuel Jackson, not the original. I've never seen the real show, but I know it has a, kick-ass um theme so that's the one we're gonna listen to i don't remember it so um okay uh thank you everyone for being here thank you so much jk for sponsoring this marathon um lots of fun will be had um so let's go through the uh the artists that we're going to cover george benson george benson is um i've heard a lot of george benson but then there's also lots and lots of lots of George Benson um so I just love the uh the way he plays um when he uses octaves pretty much this here um let me just try and explain what I know of George Benson I mean not really his scaling but the uh, you know the um wait that kind of stuff you know when he's like i don't know like he just does these octaves you know uh, maybe this is not the best example but yeah i just had the guitar here handy so um uh, but yeah i know that he's a virtuoso and uh his scales are like insane just the, the, i just love when he does that and that's when what i use out of the little that i know from him you know because uh it's always kind of like um fun to incorporate these little phrasings you know uh, and uh, i don't know they just help you to get out of um sticky situations when you're kind of like i don't know it, it just happens you know um uh, okay so we're gonna do breezin uh from the breezin album this is 1976. And um, after that, we will cover Young Holt Unlimited, Soulful Strut. So I've done a Soulful Strut from a different band. Uh, this is from the Definite Young and Holt Unlimited album. Um, then we're going to do Hugh uh, Mace uh, Kella. I think it's Mace Kella. Or Macy Kella, but I think it's Mace Kella. Um, Grazing in the Grass, The Promise of a Future. This is the album 1968. Okay, wow. Then we're going to do the song Scor Scorpio by Dennis Coffey. Or Coffey? Coffey? I don't know if it's Coffey. Coffey? <laughs> Um, and the Detroit Guitar Band. This is Evolution, the album. Dennis. I don't know if it's like if you if it's like literally like coffee, a cafe. Um, you let me know. Evolution, 1971, and then Isaac Hayes theme from Shaft, from the Shaft album, 1971, and he's literally on the cover. I love it. Awesome. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Um, without further ado, let's get started, you know. Um, uh, no cut today. Um, I'm ready to go. And uh, let's have some fun. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like the video, dislike the video. If you want to subscribe, you it's you know, you can. Um, uh, check out the Patreon. Uh, we do videos every day or as much as we can. Alexia uh, releases a video every day. Um, so, yeah. So, Alexia and I together. And then I do, like, the, the longer ones. She can't do the marathons. We've tried. So, she does, like, the, the one song. 
uh, reactions. So I do the longer ones. So here we go with Breezen. Let's see what he got. And maybe I, you know, I can try and play some George Benson afterwards. So here we go. I'm talking about here it does it that's literally what I was talking about though um. I don't know. <laughs> that was kind of, um, um, but yeah, fun, fun, fun. I'm loving his style. Uh, really, really cool. Really warm his tone and uh, so much fun. So much to learn here. It's really, really cool. <laughs>
Awesome. Awesome. I love it. So cool. Um, such a feel good um, track. I mean, of course, everything that surrounds us, uh, surrounds it is so, so warm and the drumming, you know, the string section, um, the flute, you know, that kind of like plays the melody as well. And he just like, you know, comes in and uh, he, his tone is so warm, like super uh, nice and, 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 and cozy, you know, and, uh, by the way, I, uh, I never play like this, you know, it's like, this is like the most uncomfortable position, but I do this so you guys can see, but usually I would, I would play like, I don't know, like, um, that's why I couldn't even figure out the scale. Um, see, like this, I have more control. to do the legato. But yeah, what, what I was like, literally like the essence. beautiful beautiful playing um definitely a lot to learn there and uh you know this is a master i i can't believe he has so many monthly listeners i'm super super um happy that because most of the jazz legends you know uh they have like 300,000 200,000 but 5 million you know th that's that's awesome i love 500 million, 200,000 monthly listeners. That is, you know, there you can see how big George Benson is, even for, I think, even for people that don't listen to jazz, um, he's being listened to, you know, because he's so, uh, I think, accessible. It's not so difficult to get into his music. It's not so, I don't know, he doesn't, he makes it nice and easy and relaxing and uh, I think that's why also, you know, just like not just jazz lovers listen to him, but anyone, you know. So, OK, so now let's switch to uh, the Soulfoot Strut by the Young Holt Unlimited. And uh, let's see what they maybe I can learn a lick or something. I I'm not planning on playing, <laughs> you know, between the songs, just sometimes when something cool happens. I'll try it out. I, I you do it like every like 20 videos. So don't uh, maybe I should do it more. I mean, but I do need, you know, to if you like that, if I just interrupt and just grab the guitar, then let me a lot of people don't like it. Uh, I was doing it uh, a lot. And then someone told me that he hated it. And then I kind of like stopped doing it completely, which is also crazy. Uh, I should not do that either because it in the end, it's my video, you know, um, but I guess since this is your, uh, your, for example, in this case, JK sponsored the video, so I can't just like bombard it with what I want. So here it also is JK's video, you know, so I want to respect that. So if, but if JK would tell me, Hey, next time I do a marathon, grab your guitar as much as you can. Oh, totally. I would totally do it. Okay. So soulful, soulful strut. Here we go.
What a great theme. Wow, man, this was great. The bass, the, the piano, and it sounded like, I don't know, like a, almost like a piano out of a salon, you know, a Western, uh, like ragtime, you know, I don't know, but I love this. Like really, really cool. Um, it seemed familiar, uh, in, in a way, but I can't really say I, I'd heard it before, but I'm sure this is sampled in something newer. Like I could, this, da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. I don't know. I think I've heard that before, but I wouldn't know where or when or, but yeah, definitely familiar. Um, it doesn't say the year here for some reason. Let's see. Says when it was released, 2005. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> uh, this looks more like from the 70s. But yeah. Um, okay, now Hugh Maskila, Maskila, a promise of a future grazing in the grass. Here we go. This is a shorter song, but here we go. Cool. Very, very nice. Um, oh, uh, let's see the next one. Uh, it had a little bit of a Latin flavor there. The, I guess it was because of the percussion, but I love the trumpet and the, um, it, I, I guess it's also a theme. I didn't look it up, uh, grazing in the grass, uh, but I'm sure it is really cool tune. Um, -da 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 I don't know if that's a, trumpet or like a flugelhorn or something but um yeah it sounded th i don't know maybe like more like higher pitched than a trumpet i could be wrong but um it's really really cool um grazing in the grass now scorpio is next um this is from dennis and i'm not gonna say his last name again 
I can't. <laughs> and the Detroit Guitar Band Evolution. All right. So um, let's see what year this is. 71. Okay. All right. Let's get jamming. Here we go. This was amazing. This was literally like, um, oh, I thought it was going to continue. This was an amazing uh, track. The bass solo here and the, like the funk, um, man, really, really awesome uh, lines that this guy was playing on the bass. I don't know if this was Dennis and his band and that he's the bass player, but let me know in the comment section. This was a great track. 
I'm super excited about this next one, uh, the Shaft um, theme. And if we have some time left for JK, if, uh, I guess we're not on the we're not going super over of today. Uh, this is a shorter one. Uh, I wanted I wanted to add something by maybe Tower of Power. I, I'm sure you know those guys. And because they're so funky, you know, and um, since, you know, the name, um, you know, uh, soul, uh, there is a soul, uh, but we did soul vaccination, uh, me and Alexa, it's on, on YouTube, soul vaccination, du -du 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 -du. like so good. Um, I I'm going to find something fun to do, but yeah, let's listen to the shaft. And I know this is a fun, you know, with the cry baby, with the wah, uh, let's, let's go. Wow.
man, <laughs> this is a good theme. I just want to, you know, just want to like um, plug in my my crybaby and um, man, this is so much fun. I, and I had like the worst experience in Florida because um, where we lived, there's so many lakes, and uh, basically, uh, because of the lakes, my crybaby, this one here. Um, this one, uh, this, this is like the one that Jimi Hendrix used to play. It's very, very old. So very, very good. Uh, I, I don't know why anybody would buy anything newer. This is like the creme, the la creme of crybaby petals. I mean, there's some other ones that have distortion and, but no, just go with the, with this, you know, just plain old. This is probably the one they used. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's like the hair got I can I should remove the sticker anyways. But um so yeah, this would pick up pick up like all this like because of the 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 lakes it would pick up like radio waves, radio signals and then so I would play through the crybaby and it suddenly heard the news or music so it was super frustrating. This it doesn't ha this doesn't happen here unfortunately. So yeah, I should really like Hook this baby up, and um, I have a funny video um, of like twelve years ago where I'm like I'm I didn't have this one. This is newer. My old one in Mexico. Like I'm showing it to Alexia, and I'm like literally just like doing this with my face, um, and she was just laughing like, "Why are you doing that?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I can't control my mouth when I play the cry baby." Um, but yeah, really fun. So I looked up a song. It says, uh, because I'm not going to do Tower of Power. I'm, I'm, I'm like songs similar to the theme from Shaft. And it says even, it says beats per minute, 121. Even it even says the key A flat minor. Um, super cool. This says here, brick living from the minor. So let's, you know, let's do it. Let's see if it really is similar. This is the one that they say is the one the most similar um yeah here it is all right brick let's see living from the mind let's see album is from 77 and here we go living from the mind let's see if it's honestly that good <laughs>
it was good, but not as good. Uh, I get. I mean, this it says your brick was an Atlanta-based band that created a successful merger of disco and jazz in the 70s that they called Daz. Okay, I've never heard that before. Brick's roster included lead vocalist, sax saxophonist, flutist, Jimmy Brown, guitarist, bassist, vocalist, Reggie Hargis Hickman, and singer Ray Ranson, who doubled as a bassist, keyboardist, percussionist. Well, they're all like, they all play everything. Um... But yeah, it was good. I did enjoy it, but I expected something literally like I literally looked up songs like the theme from Shaft. There was Funky Broadway by Wilson Pickett, Pursuit of the Pimp Mobile by Isaac Hayes. Maybe that and G Major. I love that they even give you the key. Um, it's so cool. On music, music stuff tax website well this was a lot of fun definitely um i would go like my favorite out of all of them they're all so good george benson is just such a class act um the soulful strut was super memorable um definitely have heard like something from that you know it seemed, it seemed very familiar uh grazing in the grass also very fun uh, Scorpio, that bass solo was just killer. And then theme from Chef, I think that's where I lost my, I guess, I just couldn't like stop moving. It was like so good. And then the last one, I mean, it was fun, you know, um, not the, not my best edition, I must say, but, um, you know, it was fun. It had a cool little, like, yeah, disco, jazzy, you know, sax going on and, and everything. But again, I think we could have done better, but well, you know, this is what we do when we improvise, you know, and uh, well, I, but I hope you did enjoy. Thank you so, so much, JK, for this awesome marathon. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you had a lot of fun. Please leave a comment below. You know, what did you think of this whole thing? And uh, thank you. Um, I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Thank you.